Hi, I'm Julian Sprung from Two Little Fishies, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use our products AquaStick and Corafix Pro uh, to attach frags in Richard Back's Reef Aquarium, which is right here behind me. Before we open these containers, uh, important to remember to put gloves on your hands. You can do these things with bare hands, but it's not a lot of fun having to take the dried uh, cyanoacrylate or dried epoxy off your hands, scrubbing them. Uh, it's kind of a waste of time. If you have gloves, use them. Um, there's not really uh, too much risk in having these things on your hand. It's really more of a, a pain. And, waste of time. So um, I'll get all ready. While I'm showing each individual piece, I'll discuss uh, what makes me decide to use uh, cyanoacrylate, the Corafix gel versus the Aquastic Epoxy Putty. Um, it may seem a little bit arbitrary or random. Really, you could use either one alone to glue any of these pieces uh, or you can use them together and I'm going to try to show those different applications um, because we have some different size pieces. We have stony corals that are rigid, we have soft corals that have a more flexible base uh, and then I have different sizes of them so I'm supporting a different amount of weight. We're going to take the top off your tank here Richard. I know the center one is going to get me the access. Um, now we'll let the wrasses know that if they want, they can jump right out. Uh, so I brought some frags from my aquarium at home, and they include several of my favorite Gorgonians. And I've got a nice piece of ORA Red Planet Acropora, also a large piece of ORA Hawkins Echinata Acropora. Um, I have a little piece of an acro that I'm not sure who <laughs> is the company or, or entity that has this one, nor do I even know what uh, species it is. It's, um, it's similar to um, like a Formosa Grandis. It's one of the larger um, staghorn type Acros that is a beautiful turquoise, um, greenish, bluish, uh, with bright, bright violet tips when it's in good, good condition. Um, one of my favorites, but it's quite common in the trade. Uh, and again, hey, I'm an expert and I don't know the name of it. I'm not sure what it is. We will start with a large Gorgonian. It's a purple Unicea that comes from the Florida Keys. It only occurs in a very, very small uh, area in the Florida Keys. This is not one that you would find on any reef in Florida or in the Caribbean. I've only seen it one other place um, in the Bahamas. And don't ask me why, but it, it's at this one spot in the Keys. So it, it's a, a favorite of mine. I've been growing it for a number of years, and this is a pretty big uh, colony. Under bright light, it will be a deep, deep purple which is unusual for um, the typical knobby type of Unicea's. 
the only other Unicea that is purple is the one that used to be called Flexora flexuosa. It's now Unicea flexuosa. Okay. So I am going to attach that one with a combination of aqua stick and Corifix. We'll start right off with that idea of the combination. So to use aqua stick, take it out of the tube of course. It comes wrapped. There's a plastic wrap on it. There's also a little end piece on it. You take that off. Aqua stick epoxy, um, two little fishies introduced to the aquarium trade in 1994. Uh, and it was my idea to make it a color that matches coralline algae so it, it makes it um, basically invisible when you're adding it into an aquarium that has coralline algae on the rocks. Um, and what I recommend doing is basically breaking off half an inch, three quarters of an inch. Uh, not more than about an inch at a time because you need to mix it up in your hand. You only have about three to four minutes to mix it and then immediately use it because it starts to harden and becomes uh, less workable. I did that uh, on purpose because if it remains soft for a longer period of time when you're gluing something then that thing would end up falling over. Um, before I start demonstrating this, I should point out that there's a big difference between epoxy putty and cyanoacrylate glue. Some people get confused and they think of the epoxy as if it was a glue, uh, which it's not. Epoxy is more like a cement. Uh, if you have ever dug post holes to build a fence where you dig that post hole in the ground and then you put the post in it, pour concrete around it. That's very much like what epoxy is. It fills the space, it adheres onto uh, the post, or in the case of an aquarium, the base of a coral, uh, but it's not a glue, it's not sticky. Uh, whereas cyanoacrylate is very sticky. If you let it touch your finger, your finger is gonna be glued <laughs> to that if your two fingers uh, touch the cyanoacrylate together, you're gonna to have a hard time pulling them apart. Um, the use of the two of them, you get to have the advantages of both, uh, where the epoxy is soft, pliable, and fills the space, um, and the cyanoacrylate makes that epoxy stick to the object or to the rock, so you can combine them. Now, let us get to that, and I'm gonna try without my glasses to find the, uh, the edge here of the plastic, which I'm not finding, I'm just sort of tearing at it, so we can peel away what I need, which will be about one inch of epoxy, and you want to mix it or knead it together until you have a uniform color. On the inside is activator. <laughs> Epoxies are a two-part resin on the outside there. Okay, we are almost ready. I had that mixed up now in about 15 seconds. That's good. So I have approximately um, another two and a half minutes to be able to use this. It's a nice uniform color. And what I'm gonna do, I've already picked out a spot where this coral is gonna go. What I've done is to make a little depression in the epoxy. And I'm going to squirt some Corifix there. And you can be pretty liberal about it, there's a nice amount of the cyanoacrylate. And I'm gonna put that right on the base. So that 
epoxy is now stuck on there. It isn't going anywhere. And I'm gonna make another depression here. And put some more of the cyanoacrylate on there, like icing on a cake. And we're ready to go into the tank with that. And now, I've got the gloved hand here. It's on my left hand where I mix that up and I don't have a glove on here. I should have a glove right here, but I don't because I need to put this in the tank right away. Okay, so, but for the moment, I'm allowing the cleaner shrimp to clean my hand and I'm holding the, uh, the coral in place. That was demonstrating the use of the two together. Um, we could have used just uh, the cyanoacrylate alone. It would have just required a bit more of it and pushing it in there. Let's take a look and see how the Valid or excuse me, how the Hawkins looks. Right there. And then we'll know that's where we want to put it. So now you can see it is not a brown coral. Yeah, I would say that's a good spot. This should be much happier there than the valid. So that piece of Hawkins is gonna go great right there. And we're just gonna use the um, Corifix water. So away we go. in position. Generally about 20 seconds is what it needs to, to harden. I mean, the, the, when you have a nice thick wad like that, the inner part of it is still soft. But um, to hold on, we've been, I haven't counted, but that's about 20 seconds and it's there. Um, it'll take about another few minutes to really be where you could bump it and it's not gonna move. But it, you know, 20 seconds to 30 seconds, you can let go. If it's still, if the weight of the piece makes it fall after 30 seconds, pull it out of the water, apply some more Corifix, and then press it back in again. Hold it for another 30 seconds, and it should be fixed. That should hold it. ORA Red Planet that uh, I think we decided was going to go next to this little Red Planet frag. Again, let's first see how it looks in that spot. Yeah, you get a nice current there, that's great. You've already got a little table. So this piece has just a little base like that. I could use the aqua stick. I could mix up a ball and put it right on the base and then push it into a hole and it would hold on to that base. But I'm just gonna use the Corifix gel right here. So 
as I put the piece into its little socket, the shape of the Corifix is something that I can manipulate, especially since I have gloved hands. I just press and press. And when I'm pressing like that, not only am I flattening out the Corifix, I'm squishing some uncured glue into the space between the coral and the rock, and that helps form more bonds. Because the um, uncured glue, when it hits salt water, that's what starts the curing process. So that little squishing and mashing gives me a really a, a better connection with the rock. So, however, this piece is of a decent size, and it's only being glued at one little point, so I didn't get a good connection there. There is the socket. orient the coral to the light properly. I don't want to turn it outward and away from the light. I'm going to give it, whoa, now it doesn't want to come out. So I'm holding it, now I'm starting to count. It does need to come out. Give it just a little bit more. It doesn't need so much because it, it already has quite a bit. It just needs a fresh, uncured surface. And then you go right back in and the water flow pushed the sand rack right away. That doesn't help. Okay, we're back in the socket there, counting to 20. Good. Okay, it's there, but I'm going to mash some of it. Yeah, even as you mash, if you've put enough of the cyanoacrylate onto the base, as you mash and press it, you can literally smooth it out against the rock and in effect make like roots. You're smearing the glue around and that, that will give it, it's almost like tying string <laughs> to different parts of the rock that will just give it more of a, a grip, uh, kind of like naturally how a coral adheres to rock anyway lays out the uh, organic matrix, the horny skeleton. Uh, so that's it. That piece is there. It looks nice. It's oriented correctly with respect to the light. You see that? Light shining right there. And um, boy, that's going to be a pretty little section right up here. Pinagorgia comes from the Philippines. It was brought into the trade uh, by a German aquarist whose last name is Gruber, spelled G-R-U-B-E, and he gave me frags of this back in, I guess it would have been the late 1990s, uh, and I've spread it around in the trade. It's all over the place in Europe where he gave frags to so many different people, um, and it is currently available through oceans, reefs, and aquariums, and anybody who sells their corals, and they call it Groups Gorgonian. Uh, very, very fast growing, beautiful, feathery uh, brown. I mean, if you're looking for color, you're not gonna get it here, but what you get is movement, see how nice and flexible it is, and beautiful little bushy polyps. Okay, I think that goes correctly like that. You know, you can see which way the branches were oriented and you want them to be all oriented in the same kind of a position. Okay, so that is very good there. We can use the aqua stick. Get a, another 
another section of it. So that was about half an inch of aqua stick. If I didn't have the aqua stick with me, I could simply glue these pieces together to form that bush with the um, Corifix. Uh, what you would do is squirt some on there and dip it in the water to begin the curing process. See that? And you could put some more again and dip it. And you'd, you'd get a ball, but you'd have to leave it in a bucket of water for about an hour, and then that would form a nice base on there. But we don't have time to do that. We just mixed up some aqua stick, and we can now put it over that to form a base, which will adhere because I've put the a fix on it and now it's a bush and we can look around and see where does this look attractive so I've now used the shape of the rock because the epoxy is still soft remember you have about three minutes to work with it. I've used the shape of the rock where it's going to form a depression in the epoxy. That way, all I have to do, you can see that depression right here. All I have to do is put the Corifix there, the cyanoacrylate, and then press it against the spot where I made that depression and it's like a lock and key and it'll glue perfectly there, theoretically. <laughs> Works most of the time. There it is. Now you never want to insert the Corifix underwater. People think, you know, hey, you can just put it in there and squirt it. No, because if you've got any salt water into the bottle, the whole thing is going to cure inside the bottle. So we're using it outside to put it on, and then you're able to put the glue underwater, um, and it cures perfectly underwater. So let us try this now. See if I can find the spot again. There it is. Get it oriented the way it was. You've got a pump that comes on right there and hits that with a current that changes, which the Gorgonian is going to love. We've got good water flow in this thing. All right. That's going to be really pretty. So even if the shape is not quite right, on this Gorgonian, you can see it's sort of clumped together naturally. Um, within about a week or so, there's going to be new branches. It's going to form to uh, adapt to the, the flow conditions and the light, and it will develop a beautiful shape. I think it looks pretty good already, but it's going to be even nicer. I brought you a couple of the gray type Unicias with gigantic polyps. These are good frags. Those are a couple of my favorite Caribbean Gorgonians. And we'll pick uh, two, these are two different species. We'll pick a couple of spots for them. Now that I've dripped so well in the tray, I can even leave the coral there. <laughs> now you got all my little secrets. <laughs> so as I was saying, this is uh, one of my favorite fat polyp brown 
Unicea, Nabi Condylabrum. And you'll notice here that the base has this little branchy section. Um, that's not actually part of the Gorgonian. Um, Gorgonians, if you plant them on dead coral fragments, when I say plant them, just let them sit there for two, three weeks, a month. If you get forgetful and it's there a couple of months, um, their tissue will go down onto that dead coral skeleton and attach. And what's happened here is I had some Syriatopora hystrix skeleton because if you grow Syriatopora hystrix, eventually it gets big and the underside gets shaded. And I always just break off the living bit, throw out some of the skeletons. And I don't throw it in the trash, I throw it in a frag tank. And I use that, I'll put fragged Gorgonians because I basically trimmed this off the top of a tall Gorgonian in my, in my big tank at home and I just planted it in the dead skeleton and the tissue attached and then I broke off the um, piece of Syriatopora and that gives me a nice little base to be able to glue and, and stick into the reef. Now there's a, I guess a little bit of Calerpa on this which I will break off so you don't have Calerpa in your tank. You see it right there? You hear the little snap? That is there. Uh, but we have this nice hard base that makes it easy to glue. You can cut a Gorgonian and immediately glue it, um, but it, I think it's a lot easier and you get a more natural aesthetic effect if you've got something hard on the base to be able to glue. So again, uh, cyanoacrylate, a good blob there. We're going to try not to have it fall and end up on Richard's floor. So I'll put it over the tank. Okay, and here we go. We've already decided where it's going, which was right here. I'm going to hold it there for about 30 seconds. It is there, but we don't want the pump to come on just yet. <laughs> Let it be. That's perfect. That is going to be so pretty when that opens up. Wait till you see. All the valuable real estate Richard is saving for stony corals. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Someday he's going to realize this is where it's at. This is the cool stuff. But okay, I'll give you that. It's brown. So we got to find, you know, it's nice to mix the brown with the blue and the purple and the green. This is a Gorgonian that I brought back with me from Italy. Excuse me, I'm wrong. I've gone to so many different places. I brought this back from Barcelona, Spain. It came from a pet store in Barcelona. And if the owner gets to see this video, maybe he'll remember. It's, I forget how many years ago. Uh, it's going on at least nine, maybe 10 years ago. Um, this is called Isis Hippurus, and it comes from Indonesia. It's throughout the Western Pacific. And it's a type of Gorgonian that has a stony base. It, it has a skeleton that consists of uh, calcareous nodules mixed with the typical uh, horn type uh, skeleton of a Gorgonian. Very unusual looking. Um, but the outside exterior looks very much like your typical photosynthetic Gorgonian. It has bright yellow polyps in the, if you give it bright illumination, otherwise it's just all brown. Now we can do what we did with that Pinagorgia. We can glue these two together to make a single bush or we could have them separate. What's your thought on that? Um, let's do a single bush. Single bush. You like to concentrate the resource all in one spot. Maybe a little larger bit. Yes. <laughs> okay. Maybe not have so many little fragments, yeah? Yep. And this will group it together. Okay, so we'll get a natural look if I do this just like, like that. Yeah. Maybe up higher. Yep, that's gonna do it just like that. 
So again, like with the other one, I'm going to put the cyanoacrylate first. And I'll dip it in the tank to start the curing. Put a little bit more on this side. And as I said before, I could just leave it at that. I could leave this in a bucket or in a tank, and after a couple of hours, that would be a good base. But if I want to speed up the whole process, I can then, you know, I can just put some epoxy on it right now. So I've just mixed up some aqua stick, and I'm going to put it on the base of this Gorgonian to help uh, hold the two pieces together and form a single bush. It's already got the cyanoacrylate there. And yeah, they have a nice aesthetic parallel shape. So that's going to take a, a couple of minutes to really form and solidify. I've dipped it in the water again to help cure the uh, cyanoacrylate. Now I'm going to leave it here and we'll move on to something else while that solidifies. If you've ever seen videos of my aquarium, well, I have multiple aquariums, but the one that has been featured most online has a lot of Gorgonians. Here's another one. This is an Indo-Pacific one called Rumfella. Um, Vincent Chalier. I hope I don't butcher your name, Vincent. I, you know, I've never really heard how it's pronounced correctly. Um, he maricultures this one, so I got that. Uh, through Colin Ford, he got a frag of that imported in Germany, the Netherlands. Rumfella is extremely common in aquariums. It has been propagated by fragmentation for more than 25 years now, so you see it in all the public aquariums and in most of the big aquariums at in people's homes. In the USA, it's extremely rare. I don't know why. It hasn't caught on. I've seen it only a few places. Um, very nice bushy Gorgonian, similar to the ones out of Florida. As you can see, it's very soft. Uh, so it, it can form a more loose bush like some of the typical soft corals. It doesn't really look as much like a Gorgonian um, when it forms a bush. So it looks more like a Singularia. We'll find a spot for this where there's good water flow, it's photosynthetic, it needs light, but with more flow, it, it really will move back and forth. In my tank, even with all the flow, it tends to form these loose little tangles, because I don't, I have wave action in the tank, but I don't have the um, changing currents like you do, Richard. So um, I think you, you may end up growing this into a prettier colony than my own. Uh, we'll see how it does. Um, it doesn't have a coral attached to the base. I only fragged it this morning, so we'll just um, put some either epoxy or cyanoacrylate on it and find a hole and just stick it in there. Uh, you know, we've already put the um, aqua stick on it. It's already hard. It just gave it a, a shape. I am gooping this up before it starts to run.
So we're done. Look, corals are all in place. The current is on. Nothing is falling over. Thank you. <laughs> um, so today we've gone over several different techniques of using cyanoacrylate, in particular our Corifix Pro cyanoacrylate gel and underwater epoxy, our aqua stick um, coralline red underwater epoxy. I showed you how to use them individually and how to use them together to form a good bond with different types of corals. Uh, we used both of them on gorgonians like this large Unicia here. Uh, we used the cyanoacrylate by itself on these frags of Acropora. And we had a very loose, floppy rumfella that we attached to a flat piece of rock where there wasn't a hole to stick the base of the Gorgonian in. So we used aqua stick together with Corifix to form basically a cover on the, the foot of the coral and just press it in place there. And we showed how to clump together several different frags of Gorgonians to make a bush uh, and then use both the epoxy and the cyanoacrylate to attach that bush to the rock. All of it worked, everything is holding, and I think the tank looks a whole lot better, don't you? Great, thanks.